Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 18 tutorial for you. And today we're gonna to be going over the new Black Bar Fill plugin. And just in case you didn't know, Vegas Pro is included in Vegas Post, which is a post-production software suite that includes Vegas Pro, Vegas Effects, and Vegas Image. All the affiliate links and information will be posted in the description below, so let's go ahead and jump right into Vegas. Okay, so we have Vegas Pro 18 open right here. I'm going to drag and drop a vertical clip onto my timeline, which is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio at the moment, which is a rectangle, the standard size and look of a monitor. So I'm going to drag this footage on here, and it's going to ask if I want to set my project settings to match the media. I actually do not want to do this. And so if I go over to my clip, we'll see that it is vertical in a horizontal frame. So we have these black bars around the side here. Well, over in our video effects tab, we find our black bar fill, that new plugin. We see it has a bunch of different presets for here, which are pretty cool, but we're just going to drag the default onto it. We drag the default onto our clip, and it automatically duplicates this video and then extends it as a secondary clip behind this video. We'll see that we have a foreground and a background in our settings that we can change. We can change the location of both of them, and you can either do that by clicking this plus sign and dragging it around, or if you wanted, if you click one of these videos, they have a plus sign on them and you can drag them around on your preview. Pretty convenient. So you don't have to have it in the dead center if you don't want it. You can actually move it all the way to the side if you wanted to do that instead. Or, you know, however you want to do it. And then for each one, we can adjust the scale. Same goes for the background. We can adjust the scale of that one in the position right here. But the difference between the foreground is we have a shadow blur, which is on the sides. It blurs and shadows. We can increase that or decrease that to whatever we want for the foreground. And for the background, we can go to the blur and decrease the blur of the background. So those are the two differences that we can have there. And then so you just mess around with that and that pretty much sums up the black bar fill plugin. And there you have it. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And if you want to support the channel through Patreon, you can do that as well. I have a link in the description below. So thanks again for watching everybody, and I'll see you on the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my super subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.